Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com here. Got a quick video for you playing through the tune Park Life by Blur. It's a great song for beginners to get their fingers around because it's pretty easy. Um, a great thing about learning tunes, whatever level you are, is as you learn sequentially more difficult tunes, your confidence level and your ability levels do grow. So if you are at the early stages, this will be a tune that you can pick up pretty easily. There's not a great deal of notes. There's not a lot happening. The rhythm is fairly straightforward, kind of swing eighth note rhythm. Um, so it is a pretty straightforward tune to get your fingers around. Basically, two, three parts of the tune we're going to look at. The basic verse, the chorus, and then I'll quickly look at the interlude between verse, uh, sorry, between the chorus and verse two. Um, armed with that info, you should be able to get pretty much through the tune. Um, before we get started on the lesson itself, don't forget to head over to my website howtoplaybass.com, all the hyphens you'll see in the description box to the left of the video or underneath the video, I think YouTube have moved it now. And go sign up for my e-zine, it's free, you get a free baseline every month, it's a monthly e-zine, and it's, you get some goodies for signing on, so it's definitely worth doing. Let's go check out the verse. Okay, the verse is a simple two-bar pattern, um, also appears in the chorus. I'll play it and we'll talk through the notes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's very straightforward. All notes played on the E string. You've got E, B flat, B, B, B flat, A. So you've got open E is the open string, B flat 6th fret, B natural 7th fret, back to B flat 6th, and A, the 5th fret. thing to try and watch out and just to get in is the space. Um, especially in that little kind of skip in the middle of the second bar. Um, if you're having trouble playing along with the record and hearing the original, because it's quite a muddy recording, um, certainly my recording seems to be quite muddy, um, there's a baritone sax line that comes in after about four bars or eight bars, um, which plays the same rhythm and pretty much the same notes, which you can latch on to. Okay, the chorus. I'll play through the first chorus, then we'll talk through the notes. Two, three, four. first four bars of the chorus is just the verse, played twice. Okay, and then the next section is... I'll do those bars. So first of all, the first bar is... So quarter notes, two notes on G, fifth fret of the D string. Two notes on F sharp, fourth fret of the D string. Then you've got this. It's kind of shuffle pattern, shuffle eighth pattern. Um, first one is E, B, back to E, uh, which are both second frets. E is on the D string, B is on the A string. The second part of that pattern is D, open A, D. D is the fifth fret of the A string. Then you've got which is C, G, C, third fret of the A and E string respectively. Then you've got the same pattern but down to B, so second frets, uh, B and F sharp, so second frets of the A and E strings respectively. And then you've got A, so that pattern is A, open E, A, open E, A, B flat, B, 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 A, B, and those frets um, you can pick up from uh, the 
little section on the verse, so the same frets as the verse. Um, so after that chorus, then there's a little four bar interlude with a little variation before we get to verse two. So let's go and have a look at that little interlude. Okay, after the first chorus, there's a four bar interlude before we get to verse two. I'll play it and we talk through it very quickly. Three, four. Okay, and then it goes back to the verse. So, first two bars, identical to what we've already looked at. Second two bars. So, starts off identical. E, B flat, B natural. And then those two hits are on E, which is the seventh fret of the A string. Um, and that pretty much will get you through the tune.